Endless quickies! One unsolved problem in mathematics is the P versus NP problem. In fact, the Clay Mathematics Institute will give $1 million to whoever solves it. It isn't just an esoteric problem, it's an issue that affects our everyday lives. The question is whether the solutions to all mathematical problems can be solved in polynomial time, a P problem, or if there's a problem that's too onerous, requiring non-deterministic polynomial time, or an NP problem. In other words, as a problem gets bigger, does it get bigger at a regular proportion, or does it get crazy harder, exponentially moving beyond what we can realistically solve? Let's say you have a mathematical problem with n number of elements. Does the algorithm run as a polynomial, as in n to the power of 2, or the other way around, like 2 to the power of n? If n is 500, then the p problem, 500 squared, might be solvable in a few minutes. If it's the NP problem, 2 to the power of 500, it might take several quintillion years. Things like encryption are made with mathematical problems that are hard to solve, but any given solution is easy to check. If you have an encryption key, you can easily decrypt the data, but if you don't, all the computing power in the world and all the time in the universe won't help you. Unless P equals NP. Encryption seems like an NP problem, a non-deterministic polynomial. But if P equals NP, then there's a polynomial solution somewhere. And the encryption we rely on every single day is hosed. From the looks of it, P does not equal NP. A survey of computer scientists overwhelmingly responded that it probably doesn't, and the ones who said it does admitted to the pollster that they were just saying it to be contrary. So it looks like P doesn't equal NP, but it hasn't been proven. But depending on your point of view, it might not be a good reason to celebrate, because if P doesn't equal NP, time travel is impossible. We'll get to why in a future quickie.